Six men live and sleep in this. A 16 foot by seven foot closed capsule. Pressure is 19 times higher than it is outside. The men have to eat, rest, and sleep in here for 28 days at a time. Meet crew member Ashley Cooper. This is the day chamber where we'd normally sit and take our meals and relax. Uh, moving around, we've got our um, common system here where we would normally ask for various things that we might need during our day. Tea, coffee, biscuits, those sort of things, general food. Probably one of the most important pieces of kit I could show you is, uh, is this one. <laughs> because we're under pressure in here, there's a set procedure to actually flushing away our waste because this could be a, um, um, quite a massive loss of gas or personal injury. But who are these men who live and sleep in such strange conditions? They're saturation divers for an oil services company, fixing pipes and rigs at depths of up to 590 feet. This is one of the most extreme environments in the world. When a diver descends into the sea, the water pressure dramatically compresses the gases, like carbon dioxide, in his blood. Because the gas is compressed, and the, the, the deeper you are, the more gas you'll take on board, your body be, will become more saturated because it'll seep into your soft tissues. As long as they stay at this incredible 19 times normal pressure, their saturated blood and tissue are fine. But at the end of the working day, if they come to the surface too quickly, the gases would suddenly expand. This causes a condition called the bends. At best, very painful. At worst, deadly. It's just like when you open a bottle of soda. The gas will be trapped in certain areas of your body. If it's within the nerve system, it may damage that nerve, and which then can lead you on to what used to be called the bends, which is a, a, a decompression illness. The only way to decompress is to gradually come back to surface pressure. Working at 180 meters, um, it's going to take over six days to decompress. Paying a diver for six days recovery for just one day's work would be costly for the oil business. So they came up with a clever idea. Keep the men at pressure through work, sleep and play. A pressurized diving bell takes the men up to their pressurized chamber on the support boat, ensuring that the men's bodies never decompress. When the next shift begins, the diving bell simply takes them back down again to work. The chamber on the boat keeps the divers at the same pressure as the seabed, thereby removing the need to decompress every time they finish a shift. This technology can reduce some of the stress on divers' bodies caused by constant changes in pressure. What saturation diving really is, instead of having a dive on, on a daily basis, you're saturated at the very beginning of your trip, and then you'll make the decompression right at the very end. Saturation diving is multiple dives and then being decompressed right at the very end. 